everyone, it's Charlene. Today I'm sharing how to make this adorable birthday card using some of the new products from Honeybee Stamps. I'm breaking out my wax seal kit that I've created for the first time and we're going to make some wax seals. So I'll show you what I have here inside of my kit. I have several items from Honeybee Stamps. They are all really awesome. I have this silicone craft mat and I have several different colors of wax melts here. I have Let's Party, Marvelous Moments, and All That Glitters. I'm sure I will be getting more wax melts in the future. I have the melting furnace, which is for heating up the wax. You put your tea light candle underneath here. And I have a melting spoon that sits right on the top. I have a stirrer and then I have several different wax seals here. What I've done is I've taken them out of their boxes and I cut off the end of the box. So at some point I'll figure out some type of organization sheet for these. So that way I can see all of the different seals that I have. You can see I have lots of room to add to my wax seal kit with more waxes, more seals, lots of goodies. Now these are the stickers that you can put onto the back of the wax seal. Makes it very easy to adhere them to an envelope or to a card. So let's start out by setting up our workspace. First, you'll want to trim the wick off of your tea light candle. That's gonna help keep the soot off of the bottom of your spoon because the flame is not going to come up as high. You'll want to have some type of fire source to light your candle. The tea lights do not come with a furnace, so you will want to purchase those separately as well. Now, the bottom will get hot on this candle, so you can keep it here on your silicone mat or you can put it onto a tempered glass work surface like I have because that is safe for heat. You don't want to put your spoon on until you're ready to go. When you first create a seal, you'll want to put about four of your wax beads in. After that, you can switch to three because you're gonna have some extra coating on the spoon. Once they have started to melt, you can stir your beads with your stirrer to make sure everything gets nice and melted inside of your spoon. Once everything looks good and melted, you just lift and pour down onto your silicone mat and then you place your seal right in the center and let it sit. You don't want to mess with it. You can continue to make wax seals of the same color just by putting your spoon right back onto the furnace and adding three beads. Now we can lift our seal up and we have a pretty little cake wax seal. You can add lots of things to your wax seals. You can add glitter, sequins, perfect pearls, lots of different items to get different looks. I recommend it if you're using glitter that you do pour the glitter in and mix it up before you pour versus if you're using something like small sequins, you'll want to add those right after you have poured your wax. I'm using iridescent glitter here, so I'm making sure to get it nice and mixed in, then pour and place my seal on top. You don't want to push on the seal, you want it to just gently set down into the wax. And you can see here on my first one that I did, I didn't quite sit down the seal where I would like it. I'd like to have a bit of a thicker rim all the way around my seal, but you can reuse your wax that you've already melted. So there's zero waste. All you have to do is take your scissors and cut your wax seal up into fourths, and then you can stick it right back in to your spoon and let it melt back down again. I'll put my spoon back on and add these pieces and let those melt. So here is our sparkly wax seal. Depending on how much sparkle you want, you can add more or less glitter. It's a little hard to pick up on the camera. I think I'll want this even more glittery, so I'm going to cut it up, remelt it, and add more glitter. Now I can pour. I do like to wipe off the edge of my spoon so I can keep things nice and clean. Now I can put my seal in. You can create your own colors by adding different colored beads together, or you can swirl colors. I'm going to use some pink beads and add them to the blue wax seal that I cut up and I'm remelting. I'm going to swirl these together in order to get a purple. 
You can mix this just a little bit to get that pretty swirl, or if you want it to be a completely combined color, just keep mixing until it is all mixed together inside of your spoon. Now we can pour this out and press our seal. To switch in between colors, you do wanna clean out your spoon and you can use a tissue or you can use a paper towel to clean it out. Just keep in mind that the metal is very hot, so you don't want to touch any of the metal or you could burn yourself. And here is our pretty glittery purple seal. For my next seal, I'm going to do pink. Since I'm starting fresh for pink, I'm adding four beads to my spoon. I'll melt, add a good amount of the glitter in there, stir it up, pour and press. Now I'm gonna move on to yellow. We're gonna make a rainbow of wax seals here. If you're wanting to make seals more quickly, it's a good idea to get a second spoon. I am gonna order one, add my glitter, pour, and then I'll come in and press. Now you can use your stirrer to help get out that extra wax. If you're switching between a lot of colors, that way you're not wasting as much wax. And now we'll put our orange beads in, add our glitter. If you have a lot of extra glitter sitting around that you don't get a lot of use of like me, this is a great way to use up that glitter. Next I'll do green, add our glitter, and I do recommend when you're stirring in the glitter to put it back over your heat source. That way your wax is not gonna cool down as you're stirring in all of your glitter and pour. When you're placing your wax seal down, I recommend setting it farther back towards yourself than you think it would need to go. You just barely want to see the wax around the edge. If your wax dries on your spoon and you want to clean your spoon, you can either scrape the dry wax out or you can go ahead and sit it on top of your furnace again and let it remelt. Then you can easily wipe it out with your tissue or your paper towel. Same with your stirrer, you can just hold it right over that furnace in order to melt that little bit of wax that's stuck on there and you can easily clean it off. If at any point you need to add just a little more wax, you can use a craft knife to cut your wax beads in half. Just be careful when you're doing this because you don't wanna cut yourself. When you're finished making your seals, be careful lifting the furnace off. It is very hot, you don't wanna to touch the metal blow out your candle and just push that aside so that way it can cool down. Now we have this beautiful rainbow of wax seals. I'm going to use the big birthday die. This has a shadow as well as letters. I'm just using the letters and I'll cut them twice from white cardstock. Now I can glue them together and layer them up for some dimension. I'm going to use a piece of the Let's Party double-sided cardstock really really fun and pretty birthday patterns in here i'm going to use this awesome candle piece right here i've cut a piece of white cardstock down to three and a quarter by four and a half inches so we'll have a half inch border all the way around and now i can bring in those stickers and put them on the back of my wax seals that way i can easily adhere them to the paper so just press your sticker on there very well and when you're ready to add it to something you just peel off the backing release tape and it's ready to go i want to make sure to get my wax seals nice and lined up onto my white cardstock so i've set them down on a grid transparency and now i'm coming in with a piece of press and seal now I can carefully pick these up and remove all of the release stickers. I hold my seal in place with my fingers on each side as I remove that release sticker. Now I can take my piece and very carefully flip it over and set it down centered onto my piece of white cardstock. I went a little too quickly and you can see my margin on this side is less than on the other. It's okay, I can use my paper trimmer. I know that my seals are lined up straight so I can just trim down the edge so that the cardstock matches all the way around. I'll add glue to the back and then I can put this on the center of my piece of candle paper just making sure to get even spacing all the way around. Next I'll add glue to the back of my sentiment. I'll use the other portion of the sentiment to help myself line up the side that I have glue on. Set an acrylic block on top so that it can dry and adhere to the seals. And while that's drying, I'll put glue on the rest of the back of my sentiment. Now I can place the rest of the sentiment on top, get that 
placed and add my acrylic block. I'm using the big bold birthday sentiment stamps for the inside of my card. I'm stamping this in some intense black ink. I am going to double stamp so I can make sure that those bold letters are nice and crisp with the black ink. These sentiments are good for the inside or outside of your card and there are coordinating dies so that's super handy. And here is our finished card. Look how beautiful those wax seals look. In real life, they are very glittery. I love the three-dimensional effect that you get by adding wax seals on the front of the card. And then we have our fun sentiment on the inside. I hope that you guys picked up some tips and tricks today. Please be sure to like and subscribe as well as hit that notification bell. That way I can continue to bring you more crafty content in the future. Until next time, happy crafting.